Oh, yeah. Why am I doing this? One, I like gear. Two, I like to dig things. And three, I like to make videos. Am I sponsored by Radius Gardens? No. All right, so what do we got here? We got the Root Slayer. Come on, baby, break. We got the Root Slayer Nomad. I needed a couple shovels for around the yard, but also with the intent for the metal detecting season, I want to have something that I can dig out either bottle dumps, cellar hole lips, or privies with. So I figured, you know what? At 80 bucks for the combo, and you can find these on Amazon, link down below, I'm gonna try them out. So what I did was, first, I took the Nomad, weighing in at just about two pounds, and gave it a good test run. Well, here it is, the first dig of 2018, and it's a key with zip ties. So I've got to admit, I really like the ergonomics of this. It's light, and you know what? That for me is gonna be a great field digger for when I have to carry it around all day long, not bad. So now, what am I gonna do? I'm taking this big bad boy, which is the Nomad Root Slayer. Yeah, it's heavy, it's about five pounds, and when you hold it, you know it's sturdy. Well, I'm gonna take it out to a cellar hole, and what better way to test it than in the frozen ground of New Hampshire in the middle of January. Let's see how this thing does. These branches are dead anyways, and while I'm metal detecting around the hole, I don't want to hang an eyeball on them. So, first test. Oh yeah. All right, so I got my first decent signal. And I can tell you this is not gonna be easy because this ground has been exposed and it's rock solid. Well, as you can see, I had to chisel through that and the tip did just fine. That's literally my target. The smallest little bitty piece of metal. And as you can see, there's a decent edge on that. So it did a good job chiseling away at that. Let's try another one. That is not a great sounding signal, but for the sake of testing out the shovel, I'm gonna dig it, see what it is. One thing I can say is the handle definitely is cutting down the shock factor when slamming it into the ground. Because as you know, if you dig stuff like this, there's nothing worse than bruising your palm. Now, here is a moment I've been waiting for. Stuck shovel in the ground, can I bend it or break it? Nope, it took the plug out. That's a rock. Oh, actually, let me just get you down in here, show you what I'm working with. I'm dealing with, oh, actually that's a brick. We got all kinds of rocks and bricks from the old structure. Oh yeah, right through, look at that. Getting them soft layers. Come on, baby, break. Nope. There we go. I know you probably think I'm crazy. I want to break it, but there's two type of people that are going to be watching this. Those who dig stuff out of the ground, like I do, and you all know it's not very difficult to break a shovel that's not intended for digging. For those of you who are gardening and want it around the house, if it survives today, it's gonna last you for a long time. 
And there is our target. It's part of a bean pot, or otherwise known as a Dutch oven. It's just a big chunk of iron, but that got it out of the ground. So as you can see, I am right in the old cellar hole and all the rocks and water and frost has come down into here. And I know this is gonna be a real pain. Oh yeah. I think we got a relic. And look at that. Beautiful. That would be a mid to late 1700s Tomback button. That is awesome. Why? Well, because I just saved a, an artifact from our town from the 1700s. Two, it's January. Three, I got to get outside for the day and make a video. So, the Radius Garden Root Slayer, would I recommend it for the gardener and the average user at home? Absolutely. I dug a lot more holes with this and have used it a bit recently. The fact that I couldn't bend it or break it says a lot. For those of you who dig, this to me is a task specific shovel. Would I carry it every day to be honest? No. Why? I'm the guy who's always filming. I'm not going to carry around a shovel this big, but for when I go to dig a dump, dig a privy or sift the lip of a cellar hole, absolutely. So I hope this little video helped any of yous who tuned in. And if you go down in the information below, you can find links to this shovel at good prices. So I hope it helps. Thanks for watching. And if you enjoyed it, please share it, like it, subscribe, and tune back in. See ya.